Now all new at six. The pandemic appears to have claimed another South Florida landmark attraction. The iconic news cafe on Ocean Drive is shuttered. Its front door chained, its website down. The closure is reportedly temporary, but just how temporary is unclear. CBS 4's Hank Tester reports. It was a place where you could quietly have a coffee and read the paper, gather for a casual business meeting, more of a New York style cafe newsstand an oasis in the middle of the hustle and glamour of Ocean Drive, now closed. It's such a shame that people used to come here and read their newspapers and magazines and, and to hear that it's being shut down, you know, because it's not making it through the pandemic, it's really sad. Yes, closed, padlocked, boarded up. The news cafe's Instagram account says it's only a temporary closure, but no one will confirm the long-range plan. A representative of Goldman Properties, which is a news cafe landlord, on the site, but would not comment. Nothing out of the Ocean Drive Association and Mark Soika, the restaurant pioneer who operated on the corner of 8th and Ocean Drive for almost three decades, has not commented about the closure of his iconic South Beach location. Here he is in a 2013 interview with Miami Pop Media. I, I opened something that I thought I would enjoy doing, and I'm very, very proud of it. Bruce Cafe to me symbolizes my greatest individual success. The cafe thrust into the international headlines July 15, 1997, after his daily morning walk and visit for coffee at the news cafe, fashion icon Gianni Versace shot dead on the steps of his mansion. That's just a short walk north on Ocean Drive. Miami Beach gripped in fear as police searched for the killer. That suspect, Andrew Kananen, a serial killer, took his own life. That was July 23rd. That while holed up in a houseboat in the shadows of several Miami Beach hotels. And what of the news cafe? Continued to prosper. But now, in the midst of the pandemic. A lot of businesses have been failing at this point, uh, especially restaurants. So uh, it's still maybe a couple more are going to close before it's all over with. Plenty of that along Ocean Drive as the pandemic slowly squeezes the life out of the tourism economy in South Florida. I'm Hank Tuster, CBS4 News.